Okay. Let's now forget the part on where the game crashed and let's just get on with our second and other event on ticket number five, which apparently is called Figure of Hate. And well, to be completely honest, in terms of this game's identity so far, I probably would say it's a figure of hate. Hmm, have I driven the slugger? Or was it something else I drove? Let me think. Hmm, did I, did I actually drive the slugger? Or was it just the lunatic I drove? Up to this point. Well, we do have the bushwhacker, but I'm not prepared to use that yet. Hmm. Hmm, you know what? I think I'm going to use the Mojave. In case I've already used it. Well, I'm going to have to check something here. Just to see if there's any... Event, any other events that need to be done with the mud plugger, unless this is only the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to uh, see if there was any other mud plugger events I'd done before that. But yeah, anyways, let's use the slugger. Because I want to. And as for the colour, well... Yeah, this will work. I know it may not be much, but at least I can say it'll work. Just... Depends on what... Lays ahead of us for this game. And hopefully, if it's possible... This game will not kill itself... Like it was attacked by fireworks. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, I just cannot be bothered to read the uh, description. I know I would usually do that, but on this occasion I just don't feel like it. And we are using the number 22. I don't know if that's an F1 number, but I'm pretty sure that's definitely a NASCAR number. 22. But I can assure you we're definitely not driving for Roger Penske. If it's the number 22. Aha! Go fuck yourself. You're gonna have to do better than that if you want to fuck with me. If you want to fuck with me, you're gonna have to do better than that. Well, at least I can say getting around this course will be less of a challenge than getting around this in one of the big rigs, which I think is what I did previously. Of which I now take the lead. I'm also pretty sure the tenderizer is a long course, and we have a total of 11 opponents in this race. And at the moment, of course, I seem to be holding 
a relatively okay lead, judging by what I can see here. And... Yep, okay, and somebody else just got destroyed. And I just hit one of the bikes, I think. Although I didn't feel any remorse for that, because that would have probably happened anyway. And... Trying to... Hold my ground, but at the moment even that's proven to be a challenge. And this is a fairly long course, the Tenderizer. Because it took me 2 minutes and 30 seconds to get around this course. But fortunately, I've not done any of the Mud Plugger events before this one. Well, I did one Mud Plugger event, but obviously there weren't any others following that. This course really knows how to tenderize a machine of some sort. Literally doesn't care if you're a car or a mud plugger. Go suck a dick. Whoever that was shaking my fist at me. That's my only real response. Oh, motherfucker! You total motherfucker! Yeah, fuck it. I mean, my car was basically running my... was basically running like shit anyway, so... Just figured I had to get that out of the way, so I... did not have to focus... on the ensuing carnage that was... surrounding me, so... unnecessarily. But yeah, these AI know how to be real cunts. If there's any word I can think of for these AI. It's basically just saying they're a bunch of cunts. Because they just will not leave me alone. No matter what I try and do. As in I just think there is total animosity between me and these AI. As like there really is genuine animosity between all of us. There's just no consensus between our rides in any way, shape or form. We just literally want to destroy each other. As in, we're basically racers, but we're not necessarily... gentlemen racers. If that makes any sense. Motherfucker! He clearly hit me there. That was deranged, that was. That was fucking deranged. I don't care who you are, that was just fucking deranged. What I saw there. Really, I'm glad to say I've not got the vibration on. Because if I did, then my moods would be even worse. But I can definitely imagine how much rattling my controller would probably be doing. Had I put the vibrate sensor on. 
Ah, oh, shit. Nope. Stay away from me, goddammit. I'm not losing this fucking race. Come on. Victory! I literally two tenths of a second. Because we all just chose to race like we were in a fucking demolition derby that's on the eve of destruction. Well, at least I think it's the eve of destruction. It's all a bit of a blur to be completely honest. But yeah, anyways. You know what? I'm just gonna give this a few more seconds just so I can see if there's anything else I can get for clickbait. But yeah, still. That was wild. That race was fucking wild. The AI just really fired away on me. With that one. Okay. I think that's enough. So in the end of that, won by two tenths over Henry T. Pops, and then Laura Gibbons completes the podium. Then, for the top six, we had Doc Hock ahead of Robbie T. and Briggs finishes in sixth. Then, from 7th to 11th, we had Reverend Black, Dr. A. Malarangi, Candy Buzzbomb, Lethal, Doherty, and Travis Maelstrom. So glad to say I completed that on my first attempt in spite of literally knowing all of the possibilities of me not doing that. But anyways, our second ticket is now complete. And, uh... That was Juggernaut. And next time we shall be entering... The Grindstorm. With our only event on this ticket being Pump and Grind. Coming up next.